Hi, I'm Heather Flanagan and I'm a PhD student at the University of Edinburgh and I'm going to discuss today why um, I think ectopic pregnancies can happen. So usually an embryo will implant inside the uterus for normal implantation. However, there are occasions when the embryo can implant outside of the uterus. And this most often happens in the fallopian tube, which is the tube that leads from the ovary to the uterus. And this is termed a tubal ectopic pregnancy. Ectopic pregnancies happen um, in one to two of every hundred pregnancies. Um, and however, we don't know why they happen. So I have an idea that might explain one of the reasons why ectopic pregnancies might happen. And this is that epithelial to mesenchymal transition or EMT might occur in the fallopian tube. Um, so epithelial, epithelial cells are simple cells and they line the surfaces in the body and they adhere to one another and they're organised on top of a membrane called the basement membrane. And during epithelial to mesenchymal transition, these cells detach from one another and detach from the basement membrane and become more loosely organised and lose their shape. And these are mesenchymal cells and they're more stem cell like. So there's evidence to suggest that epithelial to the genes expressed in epithelial to mesenchymal transition um, are also expressed in normal implantation. And what we have now realised is that these genes are also expressed in ectopic pregnancy. And our theory is that um, EMT occurs in the fallopian tube leading to ectopic implantation and this will lead to a lot of exciting research um, and this is important because if we understand why ectopic pregnancies happen then this will help to reduce their frequency in the future. <laughs>